Zombie scanning is a way of performing a port scan against a target system without that system ever having any record of your interaction with it. To do this, we first need to locate a system on the network with incremental IP ID sequencing. Some systems are configured to increment the IP identification number of its packets by one for each packet sent. A zombie scan takes advantage of the predictability of this sequence. First, we'll use an nmap script to attempt to locate a good zombie system. So to do this, enter nmap, then dash dash script, then the name of the script, so in this case IP ID SEQ, and then the IP range that you want to perform the scan against. Once the results are returned, it will show you the IP sequencing status for each system that was scanned. And here we have a system 199.132 that shows that the IP ID sequencing is incremental. So once you've located a system with incremental IP ID sequencing, you can attempt to perform your zombie scan against any other system on the network. Prior to doing this, I'll discuss how this technique works. Take a look at this diagram. This is the sequence of events that take place for each port that is scanned using the zombie scan. First, we send a SYNAC packet to our zombie to record the IP ID of the RST packet that we receive in response. Now we have a sequence number that we can start from. Then we send a spoofed SYN packet using the IP address of the zombie system to the victim that we are performing the zombie scan against. If the port is open on the target system, then that target system will reply to the zombie system with a SYNAC packet. Because the zombie system didn't actually send the initial SYN packet, which was spoofed by our system, it then replies with an RST packet to reset the connection. This causes the IP ID value of the zombie system to increase by 1, but only if the port of the victim system is open. Finally, we send another SYNAC packet to the zombie and record the IP ID value one more time. If the value has incremented by 2, then it means that the system received a reply from the victim. And if it is only incremented by 1, no reply was received. So let's give this a shot. To perform the zombie scan, use nmap, then dash lowercase s, uppercase i, to specify a zombie scan. Then we want to enter the IP address of our incremental IP ID sequence system, or our zombie system and then dash capital P lowercase n to prevent an initial ping of the target system, and then the IP address of the target system that we want to perform the zombie scan against. As you can see, we have now successfully enumerated all open ports on the target system. However, the victim machine's records would only indicate that it was scanned by the zombie system, and have no record of interaction with our Kali system. So that is how to perform a stealth zombie scan using InMap.